Uh, you and Terrence Crawford. Who? <laughs> Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Sean, uh, is, is that a fight you still seek right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No hesitation. I haven't, um... I haven't said too much about it, you know? Uh, I think my dad kind of just spelled it out for you in terms of what I have going on and, and the adjustments that I need to make for myself, you know? So I think before I call out Terrence Crawford or make this big statement about fighting him or anything like that at all, I, I definitely need to make sure that I'm in the right space, physically, mentally, spiritually, the whole nine. That way I, I can be ready for a challenge, you know? That's one thing that that about me is I don't really, I never say too much. And things that I do say, I do mean. And so, you know, I would never um, put myself in a position where, where I'm not ready for whatever challenge I'm, I'm trying to uh, bring to myself. But, yeah, there's there's no doubt. I, I still feel like that's the biggest fight that could be made in, in the welterweight division. I can definitely say one of the biggest fights that could be made in the welterweight division. And, you know, I, I really... I really dig the idea of getting in the ring with him. And um, and even the things is like training and preparing for him specifically. I, I like that too, you know. So I, that is very much so a fight that I, I would love to have uh, in the near future. It, it seems like, you know, that's a fight you've always been warm to, but you've, you've heated up to it even more in the months since the Formella fight. Why is that, Sean? Because... I think you know what what happened was I beat <laughs> what happened was I, I I fought I didn't beat Errol Spence Jr. but I fought Errol Spence Jr. and where the talk was before the fight that everyone wanted to see him and Terrence Crawford fight and that wasn't the conversation after the fight the conversation after the fight was oh well, what about Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford mm -hmm. and I'm like oh yeah well what about it I'll show you about it you know so that's kind of really where it all got started for me and then you know after the the formella fight it's like no disrespect to formella no disrespect to the sport or anyone else in the sport or whatever but i want big fights i want i want the the biggest fights that can be made and and i want to be a part of that i don't want to i don't want to commentate terrence crawford and Earl smith jr i, I want right. to fight terrence crawford or Earl smith jr you know so that's kind of where where the heat comes from um, since that fight with Formella. That's a good point, because, you know, that's a very realistic scenario if they ever fought that you'd have to call the fight right yeah. side. And I can't, I imagine your blood would start, yeah. you know, maybe not boiling, but boiling in a competitive way. Hey, well, hey, like I said, you know, put me where I belong. You know, I belong in the ring. I belong in the ring with Terrence Crawford. I belong in the ring with Earl Spence Jr. I belong in the ring with... Look, man. Terrence, I mean, Sean Porter... Chasing motherfucking Terrence Crawford like a <laughs> like a goddamn gazelle and a, and a lion or some shit. You heard me. He been on this Terrence Crawford shit for a minute. And last thing, last time we went through this shit, man. These niggas was talking about how they good friends and how they ain't thinking about it and all this shit. So now they um the shit back popping again. The talk's back popping again now. Um, I heard Terrence Crawford say he won't make Pacquiao or, or Sean Porter, so he ain't getting many Pacquiao. So, first of all, we're going to X that out. So, if Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford fight, then that would be a good-ass fight still. Now, I have my days where I pick Sean. I have my days where I pick Bud. I mean, 50-50 fight. Straight down the middle. Um, depending on what day it is, is who I'm going to pick. Um, but around, if the fight actually get made, and it's leading up to the fight, y'all going to see me staying solid on who I'm picking, you know what I'm saying, to win that fight. But, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's just one or one of two things going to happen. Either Sean going to maul Terrence Crawford ass and fuck him up, or Terrence Crawford is going to be able to catch Sean Porter coming in with some good shots every time he do come in. But, you know, Sean Porter ain't just coming in. He coming in with the stutter step. He coming in with the feints. He coming in, you know, 
with the jab. He coming in with his head down, with his head up, you know. <laughs> he coming in on his toes, different shit, you know. Both of them guys are versatile, so I like to see what's going down in that fight on some real shit. But at the end of the day, man, both of these niggas in similar positions. Both of them are not the biggest names, but one of them does have a belt. Terrence Crawford, he got the belt. Um, Sean, hungry still, as always. And if Terrence Crawford come in that motherfucker slipping, Sean, take the belt, get the rematch with Earl Spence. And get another pay per view. And Terrence Crawford would be the dumbest nigga ever because then he not only did he lose out on a 40%, now he might get 0%. <laughs> because, look, check this out. If this fight do get made, right? If Terrence Crawford loses, that would be the biggest, dumbest mistake. Terrence Crawford ever made because then the Earl Spence versus the Bud won't even matter no more, bro. The shit won't even make sense no more. And you real stiff on that forty percent. Terrence Crawford was right. Now if you lose to Shine, get that money right, which ain't gonna be as much as it would be for Earl Spence. So he'll get that money. Then, listen, he'll get that money. And then that'll be his last big money because he won't get the... I won't say that'll be his last check. I'm not saying it like that. But I'm, what I'm saying is if you take the Sean Porter fight and lose, then that 40 cent percent that you was going to get with the Earl Spence fight, if you would have took that, you never going to get that shit again, bro. Never going to get that shit again because Earl Spence and, and Sean Porter going to do a rematch. And leave you out in the cold. So you fucked up your own money. Because you wanted to be a goofball. But it is what it is, man. Hopefully this fight actually happened this time. Because, you know, I find it sim the same situation Terrence Crawford is in. It's the same situation Ugas might be in right now. Because I believe if Ugas... Fuck up and let Th Keith Thurman finesse him, right? Because he got a chance to unify with Earl Spence right now. If he let Keith Thurman you finesse him, because he going to lose to Keith Thurman, bro. You going to lose to Keith Thurman or Earl Spence, bro, and Earl Spence, both. But if you lose to Keith Thurman, then you will never get the Earl Spence fight. So that means you will lose out on that fat-ass check for a smaller check to fight Keith Thurman. You... <laughs> You get you lose out on the fat ass check, the belt, and the chance to get two belts. So these niggas in some in some wild situation, bro. So we'll see. We'll go down how this shit played out, man. We're gonna stay on top of this shit, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, man. I'm out.